Hello and uh, welcome back to my video. In this video I will show how you can uh, define the type of your props when you are working with the properties in view JS. Uh, I will show how you can set requirement on the prop so if, uh, if it is not on your element it will make uh, error and then for the last I will show how you can validate so you can be sure if it is a string how the right string value it's coming inside so let's beginning i uh, make a copy of my earlier project the child uh, component props so you can see this is what we left last time we working with it so go for for the view file the the child because now uh, no to the hello view uh, because we, we need one more data data view should be there and inside here I will say list view and uh, list view list view and grid view that's what we do in the in a hello view component then we go back for a child component because we need now to say we need to make a directory for it and then make a group and data view and type this is array and this is a string we need this one Require. It's true, and this too. Let's compile correct, and we go back for our web view. We can see no errors. If I'm going back for for view here and make a string like uh, make it empty, we can see nothing happened because empty is still validated. Uh, if you remove this, it will make an error here missing uh, prop groups because we need, need the element so the child could not make the for loop so that's making errors that's why we validate on that I can uh, go inside here to say um, nothing and that's working too so let's go in for the next step um, I need to say validator. Whoops. And that's the value we, we're sending in, value. And then we need to return the list view if we have this one. And include value. That's meaning if we have this. It's a uh, we have a a custom validate data, data object failed in the property data view. That's mean somewhere inside here it's having the error. So let's print out the title. Uh, the title here. I don't want the title anymore. I will use the title for data view. Oh, sorry. This data view. Should work this one. Let's go back for this. I'm pretty sure it should work. Working here, yeah. And if I do it with the test, it's working too here. Okay, it's because I'm returning nothing. And um, that's not allowed. Okay, let's leave it. No problem. And I'll say this. That's working. 
this data view means we're taking the data view uh, from a property here and we still get an error because our custom validation check of the property we have one inside here to, to grid view so if you want this to be allowed that would be nice because then we can make different of or view ops here if you want so no problem here and uh, thank you for watching my video i hope that makes sense for you how you can work with the properties and how you can define types and it's required or not and how you validate it if you have any questions please make a comment below i hope you want to like this video and i hope you want to subscribe my channel and of course add it to your playlist and share it for your friends see you next time